All right, where are we at? Where are we at? That's the log. Quest. There, what do you want? Bring the source. Lost it dead. Um. Okay, so that one's that one's done. I wish they would get rid of this this marker, though. You know what I'm saying? It's, come on. You no, know, I, I I got that. Get rid of that. You don't need that there. Okay, 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 okay. Need to go get that. Might investigate there as well. Go back to the Black Pit Gate. We didn't go over there either. Make our way over here. Oh dear gods, I'm sorry. So sorry. I'm glad I still have people I can call family. I forgot about you. But I know we can't stay here. The Magisters. They'll come back. They always do. So, farewell. Oh, and take this. You'll make better use of it than I ever could. You didn't do hardly anything that fight, man. Get out of here. Uh, let's go one. He responds with a weak shrug. Away from here. Away from Driftwood. Away from Ox. Away from all of this. I'd ask Hanag. But it seems she's deserted me. Deserted my family. I have no idea where she disappeared to. Maybe it's best, I don't know. But I'm here on behalf of her. Why can't I talk to you about that? He turns wordlessly and takes his first steps towards a new life. You're alive! Thank the seven! I'm glad to see you too. But... These are all garbage. Dig, look at me. We can be strong again. Can't talk to him. Can't talk to them. They're gone. Their new life. Talk to you. She shivers in fear, her eyes tightly shut, repeating the same three words over and over. Don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't, don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. I uh, got some scorched people over here. Go over all. Water right there. Like water.
Oh, oh, where? Over here now. Man, like all of their gear is pretty terrible. But this is an upgrade. Just barely. Title. Good dude there. I'm up right there. Get a lay of the land. Ring Magister Ryman, every last one of them. Those guys are level 16s. We are not going to do that just yet. A little bit out of our league. Hopefully, we'll find something to be able to deal with those guys. There is. Um, so we could put a custom marker here. I'm in. Okay, where do we want to go next? How many places we haven't been? We've basically done all of this. Done quite a bit in here. We need to return to Hannig, so let's go to the Cloister Wood. I wonder if there's anything I can do to that lava. Okay, she's level 13. I can take her. My hero. I'm grateful. Got. What news of Gwydion Rince? Have you found him? Oh, I am relieved to hear it. You have my thanks, and you shall have my help. Well, you don't betray me like the other guy. I can give you a greater understanding of your source. I can increase your powers. I can show you how to take the source from the world around you, from the animal world. The creatures of the forest. Well, I'm talking about who cares about the animals. She takes your hands. You feel a vibration, the humming of life all around you, the sensation of a hundred tiny heartbeats, the true rhythm of the forest. With Hanag as your guide, you reach out into the woods. The heartbeat rhythm quickens as the creatures of the forest sense you pulling at them. You draw their source towards you. 
The rush of power through your body, through your very soul, surprises and delights. You feel stronger, more capable. You have taken one more step towards the ultimate power. Got a, another thing, achievement. And the woods are quiet. The creatures of the forest are all dead. My debt is paid, but I worry about your heart. It can be good and bad. The time will come when you must choose between the many and the few. I hope that then you will remember your good heart. I owe you a debt. It must be repaid. She opens her hands, and between them opens a tiny portal. A book drops from it. She catches it and hands it to you. I bid you farewell. It feels like there's fire in my blood. I never imagined such power. no longer talk to animals uh this is really bad i had quest writing on talking to animals Need that power. Need it all. If I can get this back. Are retraining? They even give me my point back. So you have three to choose from. You have four to choose from. It took. It took it away. All right, well. That was some bull crap. I quick save afterwards. You want smart and intelligent game design. All right, so. Talk to her with someone else. My hero, I'm great. What news of Gwydion Rince? Have you found him? Oh, I can give you a greater understanding of your... All living creatures have their small share of source. You may draw it to you, and I will show you how. You shall gain much in power, but they... <laughs> they will lose it all. They die. She takes your hand. With Hanag as the rush of power, and the woods are quiet. My debt is paid. I owe you a debt. She opens her hand. I bid you farewell. It feels like there's fire in my blood. I never imagined such power. Okay. Just, you just have to be, you just have to do it stupid, I guess. The game tried to, try to do wrong. And I wasn't having any of that. Buckle? Alright, so we, we didn't come over here. We didn't get any new abilities.
gotta In one spot, like everybody else. My hero, I'm grateful. She offers you a grateful smile. I shall return home to the Empire when the Magisters have cooled their ardor. For now, I'll hide out here. It should be safe enough. She gives you a shy smile. It's charming, and it may be her tell. She may well be lying. I bid you farewell. Tempting to kill her. Very tempting. Box some peeps. Pinched of face and stern of features, the spirit of a matronly nun eyes you gravely above her prayer beads. Welcome to the House of Relic. What brings you to my master's abode? This? This is the home of Relic on Earth. You would be wise to bow your head in his honor, as all the races should bow before his chosen ones. Sure. She nods, satisfied. Always remember. Okay. A bunch of nun suckers. Going to learn that. Oh, these skills cost two memory. Okay. Get over here. does not respond to my touch. There must be a way to activate it. It does not respond to my touch. There must be a way to activate it. It, it does not respond to my touch. Does there must be a way to, to activate touch. it. There must be a way to activate it. if we can take on the witch probably not how fair is the hunt my friend thank you may you uh we could explore more of over here let's see Uh, we can probably go to the witch's house now, so let's go there. Try to avoid the troll, just in case he wants to charge us more money. To avoid the scarecrows, too. Go in here. I should have notated the level of the... Scarecrows. Oh my god, you're ugly. You turn milk green in a match. That's going to be important. I already know. Uh, let's try our thievery now. We have... We have six thievery. Be nothing in the game we cannot unlock. Unless something requires more than... Oh, which I say... 
Darn it. A lot of rats. Yeah. Hello. Stand back a bit there. I'm not feeling very well. The cow said not to worry about the rats. A lot of rats. I want to make our way over there. Somehow avoiding all the rats. Can't talk to them. What's the worst that could happen? The lock picked that. Rats. Darn dog. Dog don't know what it's barking at. Alright. Can we rest up, please? Gosh, we're gonna bark all the way inside. There's the witch's potion. Can put. Last our legs. Can pull. Poison pumpkin. Okay. Guess you don't want that. It's understandable. It's poison. Quite sure how we're supposed to get there. Buddy inside. Ooh. We'll just take the important stuff. Like, yeah. that's basically the important stuff. Nice. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that too. off me you won't take it off me
waiting for our cooldown. We tried. The book! Atlas's book! You won't take it off me! Bro, oh, you won't take it off me! The book! I don't know how to respond to that. The lever right there. You. Jeez. That did anything. Oh, it opened the door. All right, frog. Here we go with this dog. Uh, Got the recipe for the witch's potion. Have to read it with a certain person. It's so gratifying when all my hours of arcane studies pay off. Go. Oh. All right. That's kind of cool that you could do that. I guess I gotta read books with all the right people. My goodness, nobody blew up a rat? Fantastico. Go talk to some cows. All the while... Get recipe. Potion. In witch's eye. A lettuce. We have one witch's eye. Only one. Oh, hi. Did you get it? Did you get the potion? Well, that's no good. You have it, Geraldine. Oh, Mabel, I couldn't do that. I insist. Okay, then, thanks. I'll have it. Mabel gives Geraldine a side-eyed look, then sighs. Go on, then. Go three. What's to think about? Okay, see you later. We need to find... A 
specific mushroom. Well, let's go into the forest. Gotta find that. Oh, lost purse. Grab that. You in front. The B. Not the much looking for. Everybody just book it. Book it real fast. Go, 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 go. Nice. 15 with 3,000 hit points. Be careful. Wait a second. It's one of those. Someone's already plucked this one. On the ropes. Yes. Dead ferryman. They're bluegill mushrooms. As uh, the mushroom ice. There's a boat in the dock. A lot of experience for Perhaps just. Perhaps it may take us to the island. Level 13. Go uh, check that out. There's a little spot right there. Yeah, okay. Theoretically, this person could take us to the aisle. Shall I take you to the island? I shall. I shall. Step this way. All aboard. How much? A trifling amount, I'm sure you'll agree. A payable in advance, of course. Oh, I don't wanna. Not yet. Cool that we found it, though. We're looking for mushroom.
Oh, I was about to say, uh, what happened to these guys? And then I remembered that they got up. Uh, Roy! Sucked all the life out of them. Someone's already plucked this one. Thirteen. Never know what these people, man. A haughty looking undead woman, unmasked, surveys the ground around her, seeking something. Suddenly, her head swivels, and she trains an imperious gaze upon you. What side do you take? Her voice is clipped and detached, with metallic overtones. It even seems to echo, as if she's speaking to you from very far away. Let's go, one. She cocks her skull to one side with a nightmarish creak. Though her shiny visage is completely devoid of emotion, you sense confusion in her manner. Confusion and more than a little scorn. Quick now, quickly. Do you support Divine Order or Black Ring? Uh, I only support myself. So long as you do not pledge allegiance to the Ring, we can talk. Perhaps even trade. I have books, though I hate to part with them. And you, hopefully, you have something I want. The one? Eithne is, was, my name. She slaps her face violently as she corrects herself, dislocating her loose jawbone and powdering the earth beneath her feet with bone dust. I am, was. A librarian in arts for the glory of the order. The ring came, burnt my library to the ground. My books, they are all I have, all I had. I had to save them. The flames, there was no making it out alive. But as the, the fire caught my magical scrolls, they all turned to a rain of glittering ash. I awoke covered in it. And here I stand. Go on. That would be prudent if I wanted to stay alive. Or whatever it is that I am now. Survival is not something that interests me any longer. Not in this form. Suddenly, she leans towards you with an unnerving creak. Enough about that. I'm traveling as I look for a particular book, a tome to teach me how to make corpses explode. Would you have anything like that I could learn from? Let's go one. She scuffs one boot in the ashen dust at her feet and gazes off to the far horizon. For my collection? I'm gonna go one. It does, doesn't it? Go one. Money. Plenty of it. That's what the living care about, yes? One? Have a look. Mind you, don't tear any pages now. You know what I'm looking for. Come back to me if you find it. Alright, so she wants court. Oh! That was close. Hey, that's what I needed. Full lettuce. Now. Do you have it? Do you have the book I see? Got it. 
We have two potions. Another troll. Darn. Ooh. Way down. Way down from here. Go across the bridge. Cave down there. Not even sure how we're supposed to get down there. great thing where we bring everybody here her body Job, everybody. Oh, that is death fog. This must be the wreck of the peacemaker. Some of her cargo may remain. can't reach like you you're not afraid of death fog lucky find Nothing else that I can see up in here. Sorcerer. Ready? Up here. Letter from the Dwarven Queen. Oh, that 
was low har. That was too low har. All oh, snaps. Unsent letter. Oh man. Ohar, what are you doing? Doing We should be able to take on some level eleven sorcerers pretty easily though. Block, on the other hand. A little bit more. Where the heck are we? This is crazy. Level 11. What happens if we go in here? Okay, there's that. That's just the rest of this cave. We'll probably explore down there first. Let's see what this is. A gem log. This won't open without the jewel that acts as the key. What about if I'm really good at lockpicking? Okay. No jewel here. There is a pouch. I just see poisoned cold fries. Fries are the worst thing in the world to have cold. You can't even microwave them. They just, they're just bad. No matter what, eat them right away or they go in the trash. Oh, there's Mortis. That's a sorcerer, that's a sorcerer. Or definitely gonna have to. Fighting. Wow. Come along, Bane. Walk over there. Walk over here. You made it all the way here, you creeping little maggots. Have you wriggled up to bow to me? Has Lohar sent you to beg forgiveness for his sins? 
Dang it, I'm talking to him. The wrong person. My lord had faith. He came to me when Lohar failed the queen. And as a reward for my service, he has granted me his favor. He has granted me Mord Akhain. Uh, let's go to you are not worthy to know my savior but if you won't bow to me in this life you'll bow to him in the next we'll move right next to you hope you don't mind blinded Let's examine you. Um, he's un he's undead. I think we'll focus him. Hey, that is precisely, exactly the opposite of what I was trying to do. Wasn't too big of a fortifying. Their permanent wings. Okay, so that's how you get up there. Please, no mercy, mercy. The master sorcerer throws up his popped, cracked arms to defend himself as you step forward. Uh, let's go one. The undead dwarf looks quickly over its shoulder, his gaze darting from shadow to shadow. Of course, of course, anything, just name it. Uh, we're going to quick save here. Hopefully it doesn't lock me into one choice. I'm going to ask about the dwarves first. Number three. I, uh, I had no choice. They wanted to destroy the death fog. They haul barrels of the greatest weapons in the world off a ship and then decide to throw them in the ocean. We couldn't let it happen. We needed it. So I, I took control. Go to... The power gifted to me, the power of Morda came, the power to bend the feeble-minded to my will, and so much more. It was a gift from... It was a gift. Let's go to... Ah! The Queen! It's the Queen! She saw what Deathfog did to the Black Ring! 
She saw it destroy the elven forest. She said the dwarves needed power like that. And he told me to make sure she got it. He told me to ensure they got to... <laughs> Arks. The barrels were going to Arks. Go to... I... I can't! He'll hear! He'll know! He'll find me! He'll come! Go three. If I tell you I die, or... or worse. Mordus takes a step back, looking about in half-crazed panic. I can't! I can't! Not now! It's too late! It's all too late! Let's <sighs> go three. You grab the dwarf's old brittle arm and follow through with your knee. There's a dry snapping sound as the crumbling bone cracks and gives way. Ah! No! Stop! Stop! I beg you! I'll tell you! You relent, and the dwarf stumbles back. Cradling his fractured arm and whimpering. It's, it's him. The one the seven rejected. The god. The dwarf is interrupted by another crack. You see his femur has developed a break. The fracture spreads, shearing the bone in two. Morda stumbles to the ground, oddly silent. He looks up, and you see that his jaw is cracked, broken, and falling to pieces. Fissures are starting to run across his skull. And his ribs start to snap and fall one by one. Airplane. Also, this is kind of crazy. Um. Go three. Mordus tries to raise his remaining arm to his head, splaying his fingers wide. But the digits are viciously snapped off by some unseen force. You hear the tiniest whimper from the skeleton before his face caves in, as if smashed with an invisible mace, and the body lies still and silent. You stare down at the pile of cracked and broken bones, so much for having him teach you to channel more source. Okay, glad I didn't go that option. Okay. Do not damn it all. Death fog. Is this is this what Operation Downfall entails? It can't be. I just can't. Oh, but it can. Is. There's a god behind this. But we don't have any specifics. And we know that the Eternals call themselves gods. So now we're down here instead of up here. All right. 
yeah, they're weak to fire. Boom shakalaka. That's how we do. Oh. Oh. I admit. You're unexpected. Frozen, and of course his turn goes immediately. Need you to stay where you're at. I fortified the enemy. I fortified the enemy. I'm ready. Don't know if you knew this, but I fortified the enemy. That's how amazing I am. anything to cure frozen and you're gonna have to work a lot harder to get rid of a uh, fane Any day now. The thought of death fog gives you pause. A weapon like that should give everyone pause. Hmm. Go one. A weapon of untold destruction. And you use this against your own kind, knowing it ends their existence? How efficient. <laughs> this scourge, this destroyer of my people, should be wiped from the face of the earth. Ah, death fog. Instant victory. I always applauded Lucian for using it. There are few weapons more vile than death fog, and it takes an equally vile tyrant to use it. Let's go to. She changed, she did. She wasn't just my cousin, but my best friend, if you can believe that. We once went catching snakes. Aye, I watched her wrestle a viper into submission at the ripe old age of 11. Caught hell for it, too. Hey, Beast has. When she took the throne, though, she met this Ishbale woman. That's when it all went south. I stood by her at first, but after a while. Voice acting. Let's just say I wasn't made for that life. Dwarves deserve liberty. But right now the kingdom's no free land. It's a prison. There was a time when Justinia understood the way things ought to be. This Ispiel woman, what's her deal? Some kind of mad healer. Real piece of work. I know she can cure the sick, I saw it with my own eyes. And I don't blame Justinia for wanting someone like that around. After a while, though, people started disappearing. Others were getting sick. The 
poorest of the poor. The ones without homes and families. The ones most likely not to be missed. But everyone deserves to have the best life they can, damn it. People asked me why I turned against her. Well, that's why. The sun and sea and fruits of the tree aren't just for royalty, they are for all of us. <clears throat> well said. on that mackerel. Okay. Looks like there's a spit over there. What's this? I found something. Guessing we can't walk down there. Yeah, all right, that's fine. We can't go down there. The walk over here. I would like to get the waypoint. Then we can go wherever we want. Save. Can't get them all. Hey. What I'll just have to do. Crap, one of them survived. Got the waypoint. Bunch of stuff going on down there. Find out what's going on up here. I'm not getting the same type of loot by murdering these things out of combat. If we would the other way. we're getting experience. like we're getting experience
forward, my people. Have aggroed more vicious eggs. Okay, but we have not aggroed those ones. Got some nasties up there too. Um, kill this guy. A high ground available to us. It's gonna go right away. Silence, not very nice. Take that. Uh, sure. And go for the kill. over there. Stuff going on over here. Maybe a dwarf needs to talk to? What 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 what, what happened? Ouch! Oh my head. Guess we could try helping him. Um Try healing him first. Oh. Nope. Oh. 
Nope. Nope. Okay, well, I guess I have to wait for him to betray us or something. But first, you... Chamber key. Lucky find. Barrels that need to be opened by a key. I guess you don't have source. Right, so this is where we originally were. That to you. Make it rain. Oh, hello. Tad bit unexpected.
What a jerk. What a dead jerk. Cluster right there. Not wonderful. Hole is very strange. Kind of get the feeling I'm not supposed to be here yet, but. Boot with gun. Dog, where you the heck are you going? Go first. Guys like children. There's no other way of going over there. What are you doing? I'm going visible. Make it rain. A 
everybody. Try to do some damage here. That and that. Armor is gone. I did move that source. Interesting. Okay, excellent. Go cheeky here. Oh my gosh, I have never seen that one before. Walked in the fire. Any day now. Go. Freaking guy, man. Can you get a move on? got all day for your shenanigans. Vampire over there. Kind of ruins my plans. I 
don't have a teleport. Okay. Really? This barrage, or this blink barrage, whatever boomerang. I don't remember what it's called, but it just never bounces. Never ever bounces. Well, that's why he always gets silenced because he has glass cannon. Or justice. Glory is mine. Fifty percent reduced damage from poison. Probably not best for that route. I should have popped this first. I know. What? I didn't, what? Greet the Reaper for me. All this. I don't know. Over there. Oh, I. The poor decision. Some slime. This is so weird and. 
necessary. Like it's just a random dungeon. Dungeon. Really, uh... Crazy about it. Of course, our people are going to do some stuff. Reason why you didn't go? Fair. I uh, maybe I didn't. I guess I could have just asked. Derp, derp derp. Okay, so we explored all of that. Explored. All that. I go this way, and I guess this way, and yada yada. Oh, this is locked. How do you lock a wooden palisade? We running low on lock picks. We have four left. This is all a little convenient. Eleven shield. Purse right here. Walk all the way around slowly. Glass golden tea. Gold. Somebody's dying. I slower. Can't see the thing first. This is uh, suspiciously empty. I 
Someone's fighting over there. Best markswoman. Care about the mark. Gonna do fine. They can't handle a couple of eggs. Allies. They're just, you know, burning everything. Chamber key. Nice. Um, am I still sleeping? I feel like I've just woke up, but this can't be real. Tell me this ain't real. Uh, let's go, hero. The things I did in that fog. They happened. I... Oh, gods. Oh, do not forgive me. It feels like I've had a spike ram through my skull. I guess... Somehow, if we didn't go this way, we would have fought... Them on their on our way to Mortis. That painting weighs a one pound. <laughs> Save. 